Hi guys! Are you experiencing slow internet speeds or struggling with multiple devices that connect it to your network? Now the Wi-Fi 6 might just be the solution that you needed. But before you make the leap, let's take a closer look at what the Wi-Fi 6 has to offer and whether it is a good choice for your home or office. So today in this video, I will explore the benefit and consideration of upgrading to Wi-Fi 6 and assist you to decide whether upgrading to this latest standard is worth it for you. And please like and subscribe our channel Fast Cabling because it really helps with our YouTube algorithm and make our life a whole lot easier. So the Wi-Fi 6, also known as AL2.11AX, the significant difference is its ability to handle a higher device densities. As the number of the connected devices continues to grow, the previous Wi-Fi standard might struggle to maintain consistent performance in a crowded environment. And the Wi-Fi 6 can allow the router to divide the wireless channel into smaller subchannels, so enabling the multiple devices to communicate simultaneously. And also, Wi-Fi 6 differentiates itself from its predecessor by offering improved capacity, faster speed, and extended coverage. And those advancements can make Wi-Fi 6 a compelling choice for the modern wireless network and capable of meeting the demand of an increasingly connected world. Now I've sorted out four considerations before you upgrading to Wi-Fi 6. So the first one is your device compatibility. Make sure you check the compatibility of your existing devices with the Wi-Fi 6 because not all the devices are Wi-Fi 6 enabled. So ensure that your devices can take the advantages of the new standard. And second is the cost and budget consideration. Upgrading to the Wi-Fi 6 might involve additional expense, including the cost of a new router or a new access point. So evaluate your budget and consider the value that you might gain from the upgrade. So number three is the internet service provider limitation. Make sure you check with your internet service provider to see if they can support Wi-Fi 6. Because even though if you upgrade your router or SS point, you might still not experience the full benefit if your ISP's infrastructure does not support Wi-Fi 6 speed. And last but not least, number four is the size and the layout of your home or office space. If you have a larger home or office with multiple floors or thick walls, you may still experience dead spot or wicked signals. The layout of your space can introduce interference from physical obstacles such as walls, furniture, or other appliances. So before you upgrading to Wi-Fi 6, assess the coverage area of your existing Wi-Fi network and determine if additional access point or range extender are necessary to ensure the reliable coverage throughout the whole space. So those are the considerations you should take before you're upgrading to the Wi-Fi 6. So now we're in front of the demonstration board because I want to show you a simple setup of a Wi-Fi 6 connection using the 2.5G PoE switch. Now this switch has the PoE feature, so it can eliminate the need for a separate power unit. That's why we don't see any separate power adapter at the edge. And also it has eight ports with the 2.5 gigabit data transfer rates, which is perfect to work with Wi-Fi 6. And here's a video on how to use the 2.5G PoE switch to connect with a wireless access point if you're interested. And also we know there are many advantages of using Wi-Fi 6, right? Including increased speed and capacity, improved performance in a crowded environment, enhance efficiency and reduce latency. Also better support for Internet of Things e-devices and also the backward capability with older devices. 
Now with all the benefits of using Wi-Fi 6, so maybe you should consider if you want to upgrade to a Wi-Fi 6. But before you do that, make sure you access to your current network requirement to determine if the upgrade to Wi-Fi 6 is necessary. Also choose the right Wi-Fi 6 router or access point to ensure that the new devices can support the features that you require, such as the number of the connected devices or the coverage area. And thank you so much for watching us today, and I will see you next time.